Hey there, welcome back to Clip Studio Paint Quick Tips. My name is Scott Drummond, I'm a comic book artist and illustrator. In our last video, we went over the basic rulers, but today we're going to be talking about one of Clip Studio Paint's coolest features, the perspective rulers. But hey, this is Quick Tips. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. All right, so super quick perspective lesson. As objects get further away from you, they appear smaller and recede into space. So the back part of this cube appears smaller since it's further from us than the front part. The lines move toward a spot in the distance. That spot is called a vanishing point and exists somewhere along the horizon. Making sure all your lines go to the same vanishing point can be kind of tricky, but with Clip Studio Paint, it's incredibly easy. In the top menu, just go to Layer, Ruler Frame, Create Perspective Ruler. I'm going to choose Three Point Perspective. Now Clip Studio Paint has created a new perspective ruler in my document with two vanishing points along the horizon line and one vertical vanishing point. I can adjust all of these rulers with the Operation Object tool. The open circles let me move the ruler around like this, while the handles on either side let me adjust the angle of the ruler. The diamond icon will turn off snapping to that ruler, which turns it green. The click in the diamond again will turn it back on. The icon with the four arrows lets you move the whole perspective ruler around. The icon to the top left of that moves the move icon, and the icon to the bottom right turns all the rulers on and off. Now that may seem like a lot of setup, but let me tell you what, it is so nice to have such a powerful tool on your side when drawing things like buildings, vehicles, and really anything like that. I honestly think that the perspective rulers are one of Clip Studio Paint's most powerful features. I use them all the time, and they're incredibly handy. All right, and that's really about it for the perspective rulers. If you want to get more Clip Studio Paint tips, hit that subscribe button down below. You know, hit the bell icon to get notified when we put up new videos, all that kind of cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there and make some great comments.